K-State's win over Kansas in the Sunflower Showdown. Bill Snyder became the 26th FBS coach all time to reach that 200 win mark. I sat down with him to see what it meant to reach that milestone and his thoughts about this season and bowl games. Well, I, I think that, you know, that really is a significance for me, you know, and, and for my own uh, gratification, you know, 200 is a number. You know, if you hang around long enough, you're bound to get some of those numbers. Uh, and I've been around a long time, so, uh, you know, it's just something that happened. But what, what it really uh, did for me is, uh, I say for me, what it allowed me to do is to recognize the people that really have such an impact on uh, our program, our community, et cetera. 25 coaches have ever reached that mark. And to think about where this program was when you started, uh, how does that make you feel now? Sometimes, you know, because we've been here for so long that, you know, there's a lot of people, I mean, young people that are in our program have no idea. They weren't, they weren't alive when uh, we started in 1989. And, and you go back and Kansas State was uh, losing its program in the history of college football. It was the only program in the history of college football to have 500 losses. Uh, there wasn't a player in the program that had ever participated in a game in which they had won, and it goes on and on and on. And uh, it wasn't irony. We had, we had 47 young people on scholarship. That's when you could have 95. We were less than 50% scholarship, the lowest scholarship count in the history of college football again. I mean, it was just on and on and on. Do you have a special bowl memory that you kind of hold dear there that when you think of bowl games you're like oh man that was that was really fun you know getting to experience that well I, th I think the first one that we had here uh, at uh, Kansas State was uh, a, a fond memory you know we won the ball game and it was the first bowl you know, Kansas State at the time was 100 and what six years old or something like that it was only the second bowl game they'd ever been to, and it was the first one they ever won. And so when people come to a K-State game, they, they take Coach Bill Snyder Highway, and they get to the parking lot, and they, they see your statue there. And then when they sit down at the game, it's at Bill Snyder Family Stadium. And so what kind of end your Hall of Fame coach and with everything you've accomplished? Is there anything else that you have your sights on that you would like to accomplish? Not really. I mean, it's it, because it's ongoing, you know, what, uh, whatever, you know, we're able to uh, develop within the young people that we have now, then, you know, you want to do the same thing with more and more and more and more. And, you know, that's the, uh, you know, the numbers of statues and all that. I mean, it's nice and I appreciate it a great deal. But those, you know, it's like the name on the, you know, on the stadium, you know, that's, that's, that isn't my stadium. That's, uh, that's the family. And, uh, and that's the way I've, you know, when they asked me about doing it, I said, no, I don't want the name of stadium after me uh, and they called back and I said okay if you add family to it and because you know once again you know my personal family uh, which is large uh, has uh, has invested so much and put so much into it but you know the you know the players and their families and the university and the students and the community and the state and I go on and on you know that's part of the family too.